Fetier and the surrounding area of Chalish and Oudenis have some fantastic boat trips, but which boat trip do you go on? So for the first one in this series, we're going to look at boat trips out of Ulladunis. There's a few different boats to choose from here. Of course, everyone goes on a boat trip for different reasons. Some people like to snorkel, so they'd like to know where the crystal clear water is. Other people enjoy a good food buffet on the lunchtime. And some people just want to sit on the sun deck and get burnt. So we tend to choose a quiet boat with friendly staff plenty of shade and we even check the toilets all right we'll see you later then have a lovely time there are several dragon or pirate style boats here which are very popular with the youngsters they play loud music all day and can be great fun That's basically why we chose to be on this boat. Most of the boats here do the same tour. They go to Butterfly Valley, St. Nicholas Island and Camel Bay. But our captain, Captain Joshkin, decided it would be better if we did the tour the opposite way round and miss the madding crowds. Although this was one of the first trips after the lockdown last year, so there wasn't much of a crowd. With this stunning natural beauty, it's no wonder they call this part of Turkey the turquoise coast. Most of the trips are between 15 and 20 pounds, which includes lunch, but not drinks. This is incredible value for such a fabulous trip. En route, there's an opportunity to enjoy some fun water sports at an extra cost, of course. And visiting the ruins on the St. Nicholas Island is also very popular, if you're feeling energetic. Yes, Lobby, we'll have one of those one day. What do you think?
if you just want to go over to Kelebek Vardisik Butterfly Valley there's a regular taxi boat service it goes about every hour it's not quite as smooth as the big boat If you're thinking of coming over here to stay, the facilities are not exactly grand. And there's a small camping fee if you bring your own tent. But there is a bar at one end of the beach and there's some facilities at the other end of the beach as well. And be aware that the beach might not be as quiet as you were expecting it. There's a lot of people here. And there's a diving centre at one end of the beach too. The walk you see the butterflies is actually quite a long way, especially in the middle of the day in this heat. So make sure you take some water with you. It takes you about 45 minutes to walk to the butterflies and back. And when you get to a place where you see the butterflies, they're actually tiger moths. And in the middle of August, there was only three of them. So if you'd like to see the other boat trips in this series, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.